graciously agreed to come and visit with us about the upcoming budget. Uh, please welcome Judge Dean Fowler.
31,000 on DPS. Uh, we provide a we provide a secretary with all of the um, matching dollars for, for her, uh, and then we we give DPS a couple of thousand dollars a year if they want to buy radar and other things. And that's not mandatory. We don't have to do it. But the thing is, if we don't provide them a secretary out there at 155, then they would close the office. Um, so it, it really is mandatory. On all of our required mailings and, and legal notices, we spend about $55,000 a year. And then it's our responsibility to, to give a prorated share for the appraisal district. And we the, the county's portion of that is $238,000 a year. Um, we did fund the library. There's no question the library is going to remain open, and the city has has made some moves that is um, that's very appropriate. We appreciate them. Uh, we were sitting in court, and I had a bunch of people in court supporting the library. One of which was Marvel Skinner, and um, we were talking about taxes going up, and and um, Marvel raised her hand and she said, "I don't know how anybody can complain." My county taxes are my lowest taxes. And I told her I appreciate that because many people just get their tax bill and they don't understand that your, your county taxes are actually your lowest taxes. Um, you know, we're getting close to the city at this point, but uh, we're not quite there. Um, all this means that our current rate was 0.5698 per $100, so basically 57 cents per $100. Uh, the adopted rate is 0 0.5950, so we're, we're going to go up two and a half cents above our, our current rate. Now, I don't, don't like to play games, and I like to be completely honest, so I'll tell you that there's a, there's a number called an effective rate. The effective rate is the tax rate based on new values that will create the same amount of revenue that you had last year. Okay? So when I tell you it's only a two and a half cent tax increase, that's above our current rate. Most of your values are up this year. And the effective rate was 0 0.5460. So to be completely honest, it's, it's a 4.9 cent tax increase. It turns out to be about 6.8%. That is a that's a total tax levy of um, 15,234,000. Uh, that's our budget. Some, uh, just a couple other things I'll touch on are, is, uh, again, we talk about unfunded mandates, is our jail. Uh, our jail cost $2.1 million a year to keep it open. Um, included in this budget was two new jailers. The sheriff has promised us that if he could have a couple more jailers, then he could increase the population of, of uh, transfer inmates that we get from other counties, out of county inmates, and that he thinks he can create half a million dollars in revenue. Uh, that's not written in the budget. Uh, we're gonna see what happens. Uh, about 10 years ago, when, when we kept a lot of out of county inmates because people had not, other counties had not built their jail yet, uh, we were bringing in $1.2 million a year in jail revenue. Um, so it was very successful, and Sheriff Webb promised me he's going to try to get back on that, get back on that track. We do spend a lot of money at Road and Bridge. Um, if you live in the city, I know that's not particularly interesting to you, but uh, nearly everybody gets on County Road every now and then. So let me turn to that page, and I'll tell you a few things. The road and bridge budget, budget is $2.7 million. Um, that's about $1.1 million in, in uh, salaries. Um, we spend $650,000 a year on the road oil. We spend $85,000 trying to maintain our equipment, keep it repaired and running. $130,000 a year in diesel fuel and $50,000 in gasoline. I just, I, I write this budget every year, but I, and then I try to forget it after it gets adopted. But I, I was looking through it the other day, thinking, looking at just some interesting numbers. Um, so for all of our county buildings, we spend $150,000 a year on electricity. Um, 
77,000 um, uh, with the ETAGs for our phone system. Um, so there's just some, some things we can't avoid, and uh, the feedback has been relatively positive, uh, and I do appreciate that. If you were paying attention to the legislature, I'm going to touch on this for a minute. You had some, um, I'm, just, I'm going to use the word Tea Party uh, Republicans. Uh, that's fine. I, I tend to lean that direction, uh, but sometimes I don't agree with some things. Um, they kept talking about uh, tax caps uh, and revenue caps, and um, they would say, uh, you know, well, we're going to we're going to keep the counties and the cities from increasing your taxes more than four percent. And if they go above four percent, then you're going to have an automatic rollback election where the voters have to approve. Um, that never, it, it could never get out of, out of the house. It never did pass out of the house. So, while this year I did go above 4%, I never really had any intention of doing that anyway. Um, Jay Dean always said, you know, when I was mayor of Longview, I never, I never went up more than 3%. Um, so, while in theory I wouldn't have minded a 4% tax cap, um, what I don't like is I don't like Austin telling local elected officials what they can and can't do. Um, I feel like y'all elect me, and if I went up on taxes every year for the last 15 years, then you should vote me out of office. And uh, I think that's where the ultimate control is. So uh, I won't preach on that much longer. Um, can I answer any questions or any comments about, about what I've been saying? County jail, uh, what's the capacity versus your average uh, jail? The capacity is 227, and uh, we, our population runs about 140. So you could house all the county. Right, at $40 a day. We feed our, we feed our inmates, it costs, um, I mean, once you get them in there, uh, the, the biggest cost is just paying a jailer to watch them. Uh, we pay jailers about $28,000 a year. It's a very thankless job. They work three 12-hour shifts and then a four-hour shift. Um, and it's 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. With Thursdays being split up among several of them. Um, but other than that, you know, we've already got the clothing, we've got the bedding. Uh, we, it costs $2.90 a day to feed an inmate. So we have to feed them three meals a day. We have a dietitian who makes sure that we follow state guidelines. But yeah, we spend less than $3 a day to feed an inmate. Judge, how much do, are you compensated, did you say, for that? Per inmate? $40. For out of, out of county inmates, $40 a day. Uh, we've, we've never charged the cities. Um, so if y'all put somebody in jail on a Class C misdemeanor, we, we'd never charge y'all. What's the ratio of jailers that you try to keep? The sheriff's going to kill me if I get this wrong. A brain. I think it is, I think it's 40 to 1. So when you've got 140, you've got to have four jailers at work. Yes. Bill? Uh, being in light of all the negative publicity that was out there, I would like to say thank you to you and the Commissioner's Court, the Mayor, and the City Council for working together to come up with a solution to keep our public library trust. Thank you. <clears throat> that, was, that was, it was unfortunate. Um, I still I have my library card when I can I, I can actually remember my mother taking me to the library when it was in the old activity building and I got my library card and I was like four years old and I still have it. That's a little white it's a little white credit card with my name on it. And um, so that was just it was unfortunate and I think a lot of that was commissioners trying to rid the city and 
you know, but it's, it's all going to be better now, it's all going to get fixed, and in the, in the future we don't have those problems. Pete, do you have any major road and bridge projects forecast for next year? No, he just, he tries to get 20 miles of road done a year, repair. Um, well, they, they patch a lot more than that, but they try to completely redo about 20 miles a year. Um, I understand that you are, the budget also includes another fifty thousand dollars for road oil. Is that correct? Yes, we increased to fifty thousand. Well, is is the road oil like uh, gasoline and everything else? I mean, right now it's going up because of the hurricane, but has it gone down in the? So it, does this is this a substantial increase in uh, road oil that you're getting for fifty thousand dollars, or is it just a cost? Well, increase? we were at six hundred, and it, and it's, we made it six fifty, so. I guess it's a sixth more. I didn't know. No, if, I didn't know if the if, the, if, the, if he wondered if the price went up. Yeah, you wouldn't get any more oil. If you just get the, That's true. The same amount of oil. I and mean, I didn't know what the, if you knew what the price was doing with it. Uh, it's going up right now. Road oil. Uh, when you when you get on a county road and it's got that hard black surface, a black top, um, that is created from taking what we call road oil, which is a less refined. Um, it's, it's a bottom gray oil, and then you mix it with sand. Um, you mix it when it's hot, and you mix it with sand in what's called a pug mill. And um, so you can see what, you know, I grew up on Bradford Street, never, never had a farm or even thought about county roads, so you can see what I've learned in 15 years when, when I stand here talking about pug mills. Um, but we, Andy Jordan is our road administrator. Um, he's a He's a good guy. He's pretty tough on those road hands. Um, he cracks the whip. But, um, so, <coughs> Carolyn? How many employees does the county have? 187. It depends on the day, but right now we have 187. When you take out the administrators and the people that work in the courthouse and the jailers and the deputies and all that, how many people are you left? With its side do the road and bridge work. He has um, he has forty one employees. And how many miles of county road? Seven hundred. Well, y'all are doing a good job. I appreciate it. He does he does good. Um, the the budget and the tax rate were adopted. Um, it was four to one on the court. Uh, I'm required to vote. It's required to be a record vote, as a matter of fact. Um, so they have to vote one at a time. Uh, Commissioner Harka is not happy with us. Um, and he kind of took it out on all of us on Facebook. Uh, you can find, his, find it on Facebook. Um, not completely the truth, what he said. Um, because Commissioner Harka was for a tax increase, but he just didn't want to increase it as much as the other commissioners. So. And he wanted to give county employees $675 a year raise. What that would have done is left us completely, um, it would have taken us nearly to zero. Uh, this budget allows us to have $250,000 left over that we're going to roll into reserves, um, which is an important thing for us to do. We, we've done well. We had that hiccup in 2011. Um, but we have about $2.4 million in reserves right now. So we've done well over the last six years. Any other questions? It's 20 tail. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank y'all for having me on. <laughs>